Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, I just, uh, it's the 29th of December, now the year almost done. I wanted to talk to everybody today about setting realistic goals um, for prepping or being off grid. Um, one of the things I was thinking about is like, you know, people, I, I, hear, I hear this like, well, I don't have any money to do anything extra. I don't have any money to do this or that. And it, it comes down to setting yourself up a budget, you know, I mean, it's like, one of the things that always amazed me about people in general, um, especially, and I'm not trying to rip on anybody, but especially with poorer people, they, they talk about how they have no money for this, they have no money for that, but yet they have money for three things. They have money for drugs, they have money for cigarettes, and they have money for alcohol. And um, so, you know, I don't care who you are, if you, you can take $10 a week and use it to prep, you can take that $10 and you can go buy soup or you can buy tuna fish or whatever and, you know, have it in into your rotation of, you know, what you eat and, and stuff like that. So it's like even a small amount um, is is doable. And, uh, of course, now you're getting to see my invisible cat. I'm telling you, if you ever came to my house... This cat only stays in the basement. You would never see her. Um, the only time she she's around is if I come down here. Um, but anyway, what I did for myself is I, I looked at my situation and I just uh, I realized I needed to make some changes. I was working myself to death and decided I needed to make some changes in what I wanted to do. And I got into prepping and uh, because I was more just wanting to make sure that I could take care of my kids and and get things squared away for them. And uh, Now here's the, my other guy. This is my buddy. This is Maximus here. He is the coolest cat. Watch. Okay, he don't care. How many cats you know like to be held like this, like a baby? This guy's like the coolest cat. But anyway, um... So... But, you know... I looked at my situation and I knew I needed to make some changes, so I started making some changes and saving more and, and looking at my expenses. And so what I did is, it's just not that this is it, but here, I got a little ledger and I wrote down inside, um, you know, every month I would write down my monthly bills. And I looked at, okay, where can I cut corners? Now, everybody likes to have fast food. So instead of having fast food three times a week, let's just, this is just an example. So, okay, now cut it down to one day a week. So you take that extra money and you save that money, you know. Um, or you just look at where your money's going. And, you know, and I just, I set myself up a budget and I looked what was going out. And, and basically I was getting behind every week and I was working all the time. And I just didn't like, like the situation that I was in. So I decided to make some changes. So, you know, it. That's where I how I got started. You know, I, I looked at my situation. I looked at my bills. What can I do to eliminate some of these bills? It's like with cable. I mean, you know, we had this extra HBO, Cinemax, this and that, and uh, so I just like cut out all that crap, and it, it saved a lot of money. And you know, it, it, it adds up. You know, it's a, it's a snowball effect. And uh, you know, pretty for the most part, we cut out fast food. Um, you know, it, because that's just a, it's a waste. It's a waste of money. And, um, you know, so it's setting realistic goals, you know, doing it methodically, one step at a time. Look at your financial situation. See where you can make changes to put more money away. Um, you know, it's like with me wanting to be off-grid, you know, I'm doing what I need to do. I mean, I'm still working 50 hours a week right now. And, you know, down the road, and when I say down the road, one, two years down the road, I would like to cut that back. I'd like to work just a 40-hour week. I haven't. I couldn't even tell you the last time I worked a 40-hour week. I don't even know what that is. When people, I used to love this. People would tell me how tired they were after they worked their 40-hour week, and I'd be like, "Are you freaking kidding me?" I mean, I just, I don't know what it is. Never, I can't. Like I said, I can't even tell you the last time I worked a 40-hour week. I mean, for 10 years I worked 66 hours a week, and I'm not whining. Don't get me wrong. I did what I had to do. Take care of my family. A lot of people out there are doing the same thing. But I, as I get older, it's like I realize that time is precious and time is short. And if you spend all your time working for things and stuff, 
it's not, you know, you're not happy, you know, and I want to be happy. And I, I'm going to tell you, you know, now that I've cut down to 50 hours a week and I have two days a week off, that time that I get to spend extra with my kids and, you know, and stuff like that, that's what it's all about. So getting off track again, but setting realistic goals, setting achievable goals. That's another thing, setting achievable goals. So I closed on my property last year and my goals for last year were get the bulldozer guy in there, have him do some work for me, get some stone in there for the driveway, get the other stone in and then the finer stone and get my camper up there. And I achieved all those goals before the snow came. So it was a realistic goal that I set. It wasn't like grandioso and thinking that I can get this or that or the other thing. Real simple stuff. Expensive, but simple stuff. And I did get that done. So, you know, I have goals for this year. You know, I mean, realistic goals for this year is, you know, more stone in the driveway. Having them come in with the bulldozer again, open it up behind the building. Um get my addition onto the building to start with, you know, for the bedrooms and, uh, you know, buttoning up the building itself and getting it ready. It's, I'm looking like I have to put a new roof on it, you know, um, but just small little realistic goals, getting a power system set up so that I have power up there. And, uh, you know, I do plan on, you know, living up there full time by the end of the year, getting the water line run from the well to the building, you know, and the power source for that will be, you know, solar or wind. And uh, so just s small, gradual steps, and uh, we'll see where we're at. I mean, I don't know how long I'm going to still be in the house here, and uh, so I have to, you know, plan accordingly as well, obviously. So if I need to speed things up, you know, um, this next year, then that's what's going to happen. But uh, I know that everything that I accomplished down there is going to get me one step closer to my goal of being off grid full time, being free, you know, dropping even more bills. And granted, will I have to take that money and put it into my property down there? Absolutely. But instead of paying out to the gas and electric company, you know, $175, $200 a month, I can take that money and I can use it for my property. Now, granted, in wintertime, you know, the gas and electric bills are higher because most people are running their gas to heat their homes or they're using oil and it's it's very expensive you know I burn wood so I mean that's where I do the trade-off there I keep my furnace down low 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 and I burn wood all the time and I love it um, nothing like a fire but uh, it's that self-sufficient being self-reliant you know um, being able to to do things and not be paying out and paying out and paying out I mean when we leave here I won't have a water bill now that's only every couple of I think it's once every three months but still, like our water bill is like $88 every three months, you know? That's $400 in a year, basically, that I can take and I can use for myself instead of paying it out to somebody else. So, you know, just, again, it's just, you know, set goals for yourself that are realistic, that you can achieve small steps. If you're just getting started and you look at it and it's overwhelming, and, you know, it, it's not that hard, realistically. If you, if you work on it, you can achieve whatever goal you want. And um, so, you know, and here's one of the reasons why I do everything that I do. Can you say hello? Hello. So this is Eddie, obviously, my namesake. And uh, we are getting ready to go. We are heading out uh, first part of the new year to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Are you excited? Yes. Yes? Okay. So anyway, um, oh, yeah. the um, like I said, set yourself realistic goals if you're just getting started and uh, small steps and it just you'd be amazed how fast you know your supplies will build up and uh, you know look at your expenses and where you can cut corners and where you can eliminate some bills you know and it, you'd be surprised there's a lot of times that you can eliminate stuff that you don't need you think you need it you want it but do you really need it so you know those are just some things that I you know wanted to share with you going into the new year no 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 don't bring them over here honey um, you know, set those goals for yourself for next year. Look at what do you want to accomplish next year. And realistically, what can you accomplish next year? Set the goals and achieve them. And there's no richer feeling than that to be able to make those goals a reality. 
and uh, I'm excited for this next year coming up. Um, you know, every day is one day closer to spring, and uh, we're going to be rocking, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be an adventure. We're going to have our ups and downs, but you know what? We're going to we're going to get where we need to be. So uh, thank you for listening. Uh, Prepper Nurse one out for now.